Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah walhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala habibina wa qurrata a'ayunina Muhammad ibn Abdullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the jinn heard the Qur'an, they were absolutely blown away from its recital. Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in the Qur'an that the jinn are created from a smokeless fire. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that jinn are of three main categories. You have the jinn that shapeshift, and sometimes they shapeshift into snakes or dogs. You have jinn that are able to fly and travel to far distant places at tremendously fast speeds. And then you have jinn that are able to dive deep into the depths of the oceans and extract minerals and treasures and all of these types of things. So before the Quran was revealed, the jinn were able to access and have full access to the skies and come and go as they please. No passports required. But when the Quran was being revealed, Allah Azza wa Jal wanted to protect it and didn't want the shayateen from the jinn to distort it in any way. Because what they used to do is they used to go up to the heavens and go eavesdrop on the malaika, the angels, and try to listen to what they are saying. And then they would bring it back down to the magician or to the psychic or the fortune teller and mix that part of the truth with a bunch of lies. So Allah Azza wa Jal wanted to protect the Qur'an and the revelation of the Qur'an from being distorted or being uh, changed in any way by the shayateen. So Allah Azza wa Jal appointed stern angels as security guards in the heavens or in the skies to make sure that no shayateen from the jinn access the skies. And Allah Azza wa Jal also had meteors or shooting stars to protect the skies from the jinn accessing it, subhanAllah. So the Qur'an was fully protected when it was being revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So during this time, the jinns were on lockdown. They could not access the skies at all. So they were roaming around the earth. And Allah Azza wa Jal says that when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was leading his companions in prayer, a group from amongst the jinn came across them and they were absolutely blown away when they heard the recital of the Quran. Allah says that they said, Indeed, we have heard an amazing, wondrous recital. This is what they told their nations from amongst the jinn when they went back to them and reported about what they had heard. They, this group from amongst the jinn that were blown away became Muslim. They were amazed by the Qur'an and they understood the Qur'an because they were multilingual. They understood Arabic. So they understood what was being said. While there was a group from amongst them that heard it, they were evil, evil jinn, and it just increased them in their evilness. They didn't want to accept that uh, what the Qur'an had to say. So, subhanAllah, this group of jinn came and they told each other, the ones that were really affected by the Qur'an's recital, they told each other, be quiet, shh, listen up. They said, ansitu. Ansitu means to, to, to listen and don't talk. And then when the, the recitation was finished, when the Prophet wasallam finished reciting the Qur'an, they went back to their nations from amongst the jinn and were, were warners. And they warned them about what they heard. They heard an amazing recital, which is the Qur'an, subhanAllah. And the jinns are also uh, from different backgrounds uh, in terms of religion as well, too. This is another important point. Just like human beings are, you know, Muslims, Christians, Jewish, Hindu, all of these different types of religions, the, the jinn are also like this as well. Jinns are also uh, different religions as well, subhanAllah. But this group of jinn, they, they became Muslim after they heard the recital of the Qur'an. It affected them so deeply that it, they changed their lives and accepted al-Islam. So if the jinns are, are doing this, what about us? The Qur'an was revealed to human beings. Even though the Prophet wasallam was sent to all mankind and jinn, he was sent to both worlds, subhanAllah. But the Qur'an was revealed to human beings first. But when the jinn heard it, they accepted the message of the Qur'an 
and change their lives and, and instantly, instantly enter the fold of Islam wholeheartedly. So what about us? This is a lesson for us as well. When we hear the Qur'an and we read the Qur'an, we should be the first and foremost in implementing it and submitting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.